what are you possibly thinking? Why do you have an ice cream van already being reviewed right on the screen there? Well, yes, I'll tell you something. I'm actually going to show you something what's inside. And yes, we're going to do a bit of entomology here. And yes, originally I had a black ground beetle. But inside is an earwig. It's that some sort of insect which has got one of these very, very strange uh, back pincer things. Let's just have a very big close-up look onto this bug. One thing I can say about earwigs is that they're not that very dangerous, I suppose. And I'm actually quite curious if I'm able to handle an earwig because, you know, one day I'll be like one of these um, YouTubers, let's just say, um, Brave Wilderness, or let's just say Steve Owen. I actually do remember Steve Owen's days. Sadly, Steve Owen isn't with us, of course. I mean, look at that. This is actually quite a very amazing looking insect. Let me just have a bit of a closer up look on this one here. Well, there is the earwig that has been handled by me. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is a common European earwig. I'm pretty sure that it is. Maybe I'm a totally legitimate entomologist here. And I'm trying to handle that one there. Look at that, it's going. Cross my hands, eh? Oh, look at that, eh? Wow, look at that. Look at that bug go. To be quite honest, that little earwig here looks pretty cute, eh? It's, let's just take a look. It looks like it's running. Wow, look at that. One thing about I would like, you know, I would actually say about earwigs is that they would actually chase through the light there. It's very nice to see an earwig just running through its life. I think I, I'm not sure if I can bring this one back to nature because I don't mind earwigs for the fact they just don't bite me. Although there, there is a myth that earwigs can actually live inside your ear. Which is very, very strange, to be honest, I suppose. And to be honest, I actually enjoy handling bugs. I actually enjoyed handling ladybirds and spiders. And also flies as well, when I went into my local school, of course. Which is actually um, uh, a bit far away. Uh, it's actually um, right at, um, next to Eggbaston, I would say. I mean, just look at those back pincers. Whoa, would you look at that? This bug is a stunner. I mean, in fact, if I just handle it, that thing just wants to bite me. It just wants to pinch at me. That's why they're called earwigs, and they've got this weird pattern out there. I'm, I'm not sure. And, um, oh, sorry for the camera. What would you call it? Flick, by the looks of it, of course. And I'll probably need a legitimate entomologist to basically tell me what this sex of earwig is. I'm not sure if it's male or female. I know it's a common European earwig. They are actually omnivorous looking bugs and um, yeah I actually don't mind them for the fact that these bugs I know they can be serious pests but I actually one day I'll love to keep them as a very very elusive pet. Wow what about that eh? A pet earwig? That would be very very cool eh? If I had a pet earwig. Oops it's just fallen not sure if I could call this one Bindi. That would actually be very nice, eh? I can call this one Bindi the Earwig. Wow, that would actually be very, very amazing. I just, you know what, I just can't stop filming this because I can tell you what, I'm just feeling absolutely joyful. I'm actually overjoyed with that Earwig. Mind you, I feel like playing with that Earwig has gone absolutely mentally been long with this thing. I've never thought playing with an Earwig makes a real fun sort of treat, eh? I kind of like it, eh? I've got these feelers in the front there. They're actually quite shorter than the usual ones because I've accidentally, um, stupidly pulled this, the, um, the feelers of the earwig, but nevertheless, it looks pretty cool. I'm pretty sure earwigs are highly addicted to ice cream. That's a very nice habitat. I, I can literally just suggest. Look at that. It's going through the top here. I suppose I think it could do Oh, wait, did that? Oh my god, did it just pooped? <laughs> I never thought earwigs have just pooped already. I'll, I'll probably try and grab a piece of, maybe a bit of fruit to feed the earwig, but I'm not sure if I could keep that as a pet legitimately, because sometimes it can be a real pest in the house. I think these guys are certainly doing it for me. Well, yes, there's one product on the back down there, and it's a Penguin Club World toy. And this one here is £7.99 or £8. It's a puffy spotted deer park five pack. And it looks actually quite cool, isn't it? It looks like we've got a female penguin there. Looks like we've got four deer in this one here. Looks like we've got more random creatures than, let's just say, 
penguins, I suppose. It looks pretty. <laughs> These deer look all dopey, don't they? They look super dopey, and they come in four different colours, eh? Reminds me a lot of club penguin because of the way it looks like. And we'll take a look at what's inside and see on what the buck is going about. <laughs> no pun intended. Sorry if I'm saying words which are really into blasphemy, but anyways, let's do it. Okay, let's start off with all the different colours of deer here. This one is a red one. That one there is a blue one here, which unfortunately is the only one which doesn't have any licensing info. I'll probably have to make another one, which is blue, but with licensing info. There's a black one here, and there's a purple one here. And these deer look pretty amazing indeed. I mean, they look pretty bucking awesome. They look actually quite nice, don't they, these deer? They've got pretty long muzzles. Or noses, I suppose. They look very... I mean, the snout on these um, uh, stags, or bucks, as I call them, because they've got antlers. Maybe they look like reindeer. I'm not sure. If, I would say reindeer have antlers in both the males and the females, but I can tell you what, I eh? These guys are an excellent treat. And you're probably thinking, what about the penguin here? And look at that, the penguin has got licensing for there, and she looks totally amazing, eh? I don't know what her name is, and to be honest, it, it, I, would, I would say she's more of a generic uh, penguin, and to be honest, that's why I'm saying it because of the way she's detailed. I'm actually trying to say the word detailed because I've got a very bad lipping syndrome here. But anyways, as I'm speaking in this video here, she's all red, we're all red, all over Red Rover. <laughs> I'm actually trying to be a bit... Why am I trying to relate into words that have the letter R? But anyways, looks pretty nice, the details on these um, penguins and... I love the spots on the D as well. There's nothing to be bad, eh? What would have been more nice is that we could actually bring in a piece of food as, let's just say, a toy that is shaped as a piece of food to feed the deer. But anyways, that's actually very nice, having this huge bundle of a whole bunch of Club Penguin-style toys. And, um, yes, it actually looks very, very nice. Having a look at Penguin Club World, and to be honest, maybe I should go back and take a look at how Bindi the Earwig is doing. Yeah. She looks totally amazing, or he looks totally amazing. Mind you, I'll play with her one more time. And I'm wanting to basically say, give this video a thumbs up or a like. And subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content. Especially when you're having fun with Bindi the Earwig. As anyways... As always, thanks for watching and bye for now.